This is Mademoiselle Mimi and Senor Don Gato. Look at him. So handsome. So handsome, Kitty. So handsome, Kitty. Pretty Kitty. Okay, hello everybody. I got my new Art Snack subscription in the mail today. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up and see what's all in here. Here's the card that tells me what all the objects are. Ooh, here's a little zipper pouch. I've been needing one of these so far. I've been using an old army one that I've had for a while. Well, army print one, not one that I got in the army. I haven't been to the army. Uh, leaf green. I got a paint. I'll go over it all once I... Jolly Rancher Crunch and Chew. Not a huge fan of these, really. I'll save that in my drawer for when I get ready to have that Art Snack sticker, which I'm going to probably place on my pencil sharpener where I put the other one. And here are the final items. Okay, crack this open. Okay. Leave space so I can put the descriptions here. I just have so much trouble opening these things. Okay, another paintbrush it looks like. Ooh, and a Copic marker. I've never used a Copic marker. I've had I've had other alcohol-based products, as y'all have seen. I've got the uh, Blick Studio markers and one of the Touch markers, Touch, Touch, well, some kind of marker that I got in a past art subscription box. All right, let me pull out this and read it while I go over this. Okay, a uh, paintbrush. Robert Simmons acrylic short handle paintbrush. Retail price $5.99. New product, exclusive first look. Exclusive? Ooh. Let's see. Dollar Rowney, Dollar Rowney is giving all art snackers a first look at their Robert Simmons acrylic short handle paintbrush line. Different types of paint require different types of paintbrushes, and a good acrylics brush should hold the paint without losing its shape. I've got a very thin one. I wonder if people in different, uh, p other people who got the Art Stack subscription this month have a different sized brush. Because I've noticed that in some, while I've watched other people's videos, that they have different sized items or different color items. Anyway, the synthetic fibers used in this brush were chosen to provide both the softness and the control that you need in order to get the most out of acrylic painting. Alright, let's see. Daler Rowney, Daler Rowney, Daler Rowney, System 3 Medium Body Acrylic Paint, $6.50 retail price. Do, do, do. Uh, use this new acrylic paint brush with the paint that it was made for. This water-based paint uses high quality pigments. Acrylic paint can be laid down thick or can be thinned with water to create a watercolor wash effect. The quick drying time of this medium body paint makes it easy to experiment with layering and other effects. Copic Classic Marker, $7.99 retail price for one marker. Let's see. Staff Favorite. We love the versatility of a good double-ended marker. This Copic Classic Marker features a fine point nib and a broad chisel nib. Use it to sketch in delicate details, then flip it around to color in large areas. This refillable tool is compatible with the Copic Color System and is offered in a total of 214 colors. All right. And this cool zipper pouch bag. Pick up this month's of small 3D zip by Bagu. $6.50 retail price. Pick up this month's art snacks and take them with you anywhere in this 3D zip by Bagu. This unique bag can expand to pack and even in even more of your favorite art supplies. Made up of ripstop nylon, a special reinforced fabric that resists tearing, your 3D zip is machine washable to keep that sailor stripe design. <laughs> Looking bright and clean. Wonderful. Okay, let's see one of these jokes again. Why did the artist decide to become an impressionist? For the Monet. Okay. it's got going on in there so it looks like I've got like four items 
makes the slippings look sip <laughs> the pickings look awful slim when you put them in here. But I can see how it can fit like a whole bunch of supplies. Maybe, let me see, what do I have this stuff in here? Got some crayons, throw in some crayons. Get your crayons, get your, get your crayons. But yeah, all that stuff will fit. Wonderful. All right. So let me get down to business testing out these products and then making a drawing with these products. Let me tilt the candle deck camera. Let me tilt down the camera. Alright, I'm using my mixed media paper as usual. And I remember how this paper just pulls in my Copic markers, but I mean not my Copic markers, but my alcohol-based markers, but it's what I'm gonna use. Since this is alcohol based, it shouldn't move around when I use the water, so I just got to decide whether I'm going to put down the acrylic stuff first. I oh, gotta make this, gotta loosen this up. That is as hard as. Wow. As you can see, it doesn't have any of the flex yet. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Just had to break it up. Alright, now it's got some flex. Alright. Put down some of this leaf green color. So the colors I'm going to be working with is leaf green and ultramarine B29 Copic alcohol-based marker. Wow. That's a leaf green? Jeez. That is bright. figure out what I'm going to draw. I don't really like working with brushes this small unless I'm putting in detail. So, hmm. let's see, what am I going to draw? no idea what this is but I did it so there we have it with the um acrylic paint the acrylic brush and this Copic marker <laughs> thanks for watching bye bye